Alright, so here we have a new motor from 3B Hobby. Uh, this one's the 3BT 2306 motor, and this one's a 2100 kV. Uh, this was sent in by Banggood for review, so thank you, Banggood, for sending the motor for review. It was one of the Banggood agents that contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do something to test. So of course I mentioned uh, motors, uh, so they sent this one and a couple of other motors that I'll, I'll also be testing soon. So 3B Hobby actually changed their logo. It used to be uh, BBB and some wings and now it's just this uh, symbol here. A little bit different, so 3 and I guess that's a, supposed to be a B and Hobby. So. so they changed the logo but I think it's still the same name. Uh, so interesting packaging uh, comes in this cardboard paper uh, bag, which is kind of cool. You know, I always uh, want to notice uh, packaging and anything that's uh, uh, recyclable. It's much better. Uh, we don't need all that plastic floating around, so biodegradable is good. And looks like they have this kind of like a hologram, so I guess to ensure uh, authenticity. You know, make sure that they're not. Uh, and I guess it's a scratcher, so there's some kind of uh, uh, there's some kind of cereal, some cereal there. So, so if you buy these motors, make sure you you get one of those, and that'll tell you that it's the authentic one. So let's see what comes in the bag. And just the basics, uh, the motor, and the four M. 3 by uh, looks like 8 millimeters uh, M3 by 8 and a, a nylock, aluminum nylock and it's got the smooth flange so that's what you want and so here's the motor a very simplistic design on this motor uh, it's just the minimal stuff I guess uh, as you can see three spokes on the bell cap pretty flat profile and it's got these little divots there so that that's gonna grab the propeller to keep it from spinning once you tighten it it'll bite into those three little spikes right there so that's good design hopefully that's strong enough uh, and crashes and uh, there we can see the windings on the motor uh, pretty neat wires are fairly well tucked in so nothing hanging out right there the usual configuration these days a naked bottom and a shaft retaining screw and a one piece hollow shaft and that one looks like it's just hardened steel on the specs uh, they don't really tell you what kind of aluminum they're using if it's 6061 or 7075 they also don't tell you what kind of magnets they're using so I'm sure they're strong magnets but anyways, we'll see how it performs on the thrust end. Uh, this one's a 2100 kV version and fairly thin wires. These are 20 gauge wires, very thin compared to all, uh, the other motors. The standard is pretty much uh, 18 gauge these days. Uh, some even go with uh, thicker 16 gauge and this one is about 150 millimeters in length so plenty of length on the wire so let's get a weight uh, on this 20 gauge wire is not that heavy we'll see what that weighs so that's with the 20 gauge wire so that's 32.3 grams with 20 gauge wire so if we cut the wires to 50 millimeters as usual to get the equivalent weight with 50 millimeters of wire we get rid of that much weight uh, 1.1 grams so just stir that and um, with 50 millimeters of wire this would weigh in at 31.1 grams so uh, not that bad a pretty good weight for a 2306 Especially if this is considered like a mid-budget motor, that's a pretty decent weight. So let's see how easy it is to uh, remove that screw. And uh, it looks like it's 
yeah it is an M2 screw so that's good it's not one of those flimsy 1.5 millimeters uh, so let's see yeah and that's not so bad it's tight in there uh, I can feel the thread lock but it, it gives you know so it's pretty well uh, uh, tightening in there it's not gonna come loose so it comes out pretty well it's a different screw than everybody else not probably not the best one because uh, uh, they're using this bevel head countersunk that's what it is it's like a countersunk uh, type of uh, screw so that's that's not the best one to use and then they use this special washer it's like a, a countersunk bushing actually it's it looks like it's pressed in a little bit into the shaft it's a little bit pressed into the shaft so that's the countersunk washer not the best setup because if you lose that then it's gonna be a hassle to try to uh, secure that because as you can see the shaft uh, sticks out a little bit from the bearing so you'd have to get some kind of washers if you were to lose that you get some washers all right so let's see how easy it is to uh, pull this apart hopefully it's not stuck in there and yeah that's a little bit tight so that's gonna take some yeah that's gonna take some pulling I'll do that off camera all right so here's the stator and bell pulled apart and uh, you can see there a very simple design on this on the bell uh, some balancing mud there and it does have a small lid right there to help retain the magnet so that's a that's pretty good uh, shaft is uh, fully hollow so that's that's good that's what you want uh, it's supposed to uh, make it uh, stronger actually it, it'll resist bending even more than if it was solid or partially hollow and a uh, very well keyed in there as you can see it's got this raised uh, portion there where the shaft is very well secure there so that's not uh, moving and uh, here's the stator uh, so nicely wound uh, wires there on the stator and I did notice the bearings are actually NMB bearings, so those are good uh, brand bearings. They should be good quality, and they're the good size. Uh, those are four by nine by four, so that's the uh, the beefy bearings, the ones that are supposed to last longer. And uh, it's a recognized brand, so there's, these are not generic. Uh, so pretty good from uh, 3B Hobby to uh, to make these motors with. Uh, uh, good quality bearings so hopefully those those prove to be durable and let's get a, a measurement on the stator height uh, so yeah pretty much uh, six millimeters nothing uh, out of the ordinary there for a mid-budget motor uh, seems to fit the bill uh, seems to have all the right uh, componentry for mid-budget for the asking price uh, so now let's see uh, how it performs on the thrust stand and uh, of course ho uh, hopefully uh, long term use and abuse it proves to be a good motor over the long term use eventually we'll, we'll get reports about uh, durability on this motor and uh, this one uh, they actually I forgot to mention uh, these come in in various KVs, uh, 1700, 2100, 2500, and 2700. So I got the 2100 version. Uh, I did ask for the 1700 uh, version first, but uh, it was out of stock uh, at uh, Banggood, so they went ahead and sent the 2100. Uh, so this one, 2100, uh, it's kind of like in between, so probably 4S and 5S maybe. Uh, perhaps even 6s on 5043 by 3 props so I'll give that a go see how it see how it uh, performs uh, at that load so all right let's uh, move on to the thrust test and see see what you can do
All right, so here are the trust test results for this new motor from 3B Hobby. This one's the 3BT 2306-2100 kV. This motor measure at a slightly higher 2215 kV as measured by my trust stand. Uh, so I actually initially only tested on 4S, but I noticed the performance was lackluster. It was a little bit on the low side. So I actually went ahead and ran all the props on 5S afterward and uh, yeah the results uh, were better and we can see the motor is waking up on 5s because on 4s it was pretty much uh, below 1300 and uh, 1300 grams that's kind of mid level performance you know nowadays we're used to seeing upwards of 14 1500 grams on five inch uh, tri-blade props uh, so this one being below 1300 it wasn't looking as good uh, so on 5s yeah definitely it broke the 1500 gram mark and uh, seems to be 5s uh, a good match for this motor so on 5s it compares well against 2207 2306 motors with 24 2500 kV on 4s so on 5s the tri-blade props are doing pretty well 1500 uh, pretty much across the board and uh, five and a half inch 1613 and also i threw in the 6040 prop uh, in case anybody wants to run on six inch uh, so 1757 at 48 amps uh, seems to be pretty manageable of course these are burst uh, amps so you're only gonna see them for a very short time and also remember these are static so they're gonna be higher by about anywhere from 35 to 40 percent so when you're in the air, uh, these amps are going to be lower by that much, uh, 35 to 40 percent lower. So all these amp numbers here seem to be within manageable levels. So any 30 amp PSC should be able to run this motor on 5S pretty much. So about running on 5S, the motor seemed to be OK on 5S. I didn't uh, see that it was bogging down on 5S or running excessively hot. I only run it for like a short burst because of course if I keep the motor at 100% throttle it'll overheat and it'll most likely uh, fry the windings uh, but that's static thrust uh, that's where the motors will see the highest load uh, when you're flying the amps are gonna be of course a lot lower so and you get a lot of cooling air um, as you're flying and we only do short uh, full throttle runs. Uh, we're always on the throttle back and forth. So it's, it's not a continuous 100% uh, throttle. So that's why you know we can run these motors on such high loads and uh, they'll, they'll survive. But uh, if we keep the motor at 100%, of course, uh, eventually it's gonna saturate with heat and uh, things are gonna start to melt. So that's one thing to keep in mind, especially for the guys that wanna run these motors on wings. Uh, when you run these motors on fixed wing aircraft, you run throttle at higher position than on quads and it's only one motor. So you're putting a lot more load on the one motor and it's pushing a lot of uh, load. You know, the, it's just one motor for an aircraft uh, that's overcoming the weight and all the air drag. Typically on a fixed wing, you probably wanna use slightly bigger motors or not running at such high loads. Decent performance across the board out of this motor. Brand new motor from 3B Hobby and this was sent in by Banggood. So thank you Banggood for uh, sending the motor for testing. Hopefully they send me more. And so hope you find the data useful. Uh, thank you for watching and until the next one.